Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's your man's and them foul shot, a.k.a. the Toothless Wonder, reporting from the Bamboozle Again News Network. And in light of what I've seen on YouTube, you know, personal life, others, you know, let's take a break from, you know, the heaviness of the spiritual warfare. And I'm going to come with a little lighter content this morning. But I was just thinking, and that's where my content comes from. I just be coming up with random thoughts and just come to YouTube with it, right? I'm really starting to wonder at this point, having a conversation uh, yesterday, uh, a partner of mine that I know from the Glen Burnie area, me and him were, were charter members of the of the Drunk Dynasty Alcoholic Club, right? You know, Duck Dynasty TV show, we start calling ourselves Drunk Dynasty, right? It's got to be close to, uh, and I was the first one to drop my flag, right? In order to get my life together, right? Uh, so it's probably been almost a decade since I've seen him. I actually linked up with him in Delaware because that's actually close to where I'm at. He's originally from Chicago and uh, moved to Delaware from Indiana, right? So once I hear he in the he in the circumference, right? He in the he in the impact zone. I said, "Oh, let me holler my minds now." So I went over there. We chopped up by the eye, you know what I mean? Having some good convo, catching up, you know what I mean? He still got the same essence. You know how you meet people at one point, and then you see them later on, years later, and they look like them, but like. Life has changed them, like, negatively, or even if you're going through something, like, you'll still be you. But, you know, from a lot of times I've seen, like, sometimes I see people who haven't seen in a while, and it looked like them, but the essence of who I remember them to be is gone. <laughs> right. So this is kind of uh, sponsored by the combo we was having. And I'm starting to really wonder, yo, like, how, like, how much of this matrix which is, a, I guess, a, a oxymoron, it's actually real, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, is the Jamie Foxx we see, is that the original Jamie Foxx, like we remember from his TV shows or, you know, the movie Ray? Is that him, yo? Is, is the dude that fell out on the field from the Buffalo Bills them years back? I think I think he he, he left Earth on the field that day, yo. And I've seen pictures, like, not lately, but after it, like, oh, he's okay, he's back, he's playing football. But he always had his back turned, or, you know what I mean? Or oh, I've seen the clip where he was back in the, the sky box, but his face was kind of cut. Like, is that really him? I know, just like Star Wars, they, they got cloning, you know what I'm saying? They've come out in various, you know, scientific publications and said they've been doing it since the 90s. But I'm starting to wonder, yo, are the people we see on TV, or is it really them, yo? The, I think that was the mugshot. Of, is, is that him, yo? Is he even still with us? You know what I mean? Or is this the stunt double? You know what I mean? You remember that uh, that Simpsons episode? I think Homer runs up on the stage. I think it's like some type of election. And he pulls the people mass off and there's two aliens. Is that more semblance of the truth? You know what I mean? Do these people like... And I've heard, you know information about this right you know hybrid beings shapeshifters you know the the serpent seeds and whatnot uh 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 i know they they practice a great super duper level of uh occultism that's probably even mind-boggling to the average tarot card reader who got a nine to five but how much of this is really real yeah we can say let's say here in babylon a lot of times, you, and me and my partner was talking about this, how you, after a period of time, you'll, you'll discover that people you befriended, the friendship wasn't real, or you was in a relationship and the love wasn't really real, or, you know what I'm saying? You, you get into a job, and then you get into it, and the job isn't what they described it to be on Indeed. I'm really starting to wonder, yo, how much of anything that we perceive with our five senses is actually what it portrays itself to be, yo? Had they already... Do they already know who the president will be and just allowing us to vote to seem chimed into the selection process when they've already picked them? You know what I mean? They might have picked them 20 years ago. Like, what's that? The Maturin Candidate? What's that movie where, where they give this dude a, uh, like a made up background story and he's actually groomed to be the president 30 years before he's actually set to take office? And they construct this background story and train him and 
construct, you know, or have stunt doubles and orchestrate events and how much of the news is actually reporting on events or are they just telling us about manufactured events masquerading as the news? You know what I mean? It 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 I don't it just it just gives me pause for the cause on the slightly cold here, you know, Monday morning before I get my day started. You know what I mean? Like how real is the young thug trial? How long has he been going to court? What are like what are they even talking about at this point? And how has that mind over the last three years from uh, uh, is he even incarcerated? Come to court for the last two years with a different outfit on. Where are they where are they keeping his clothes at? I know when I used to go to court, like you get a change of clothes and put in your property, one singular suit. Granted, he might be a you know celebrity, so it might be a little different. But he has two years worth of clothes, court clothes, and his jail property is. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, like even with the Dirk situation, because rap is falling and the drill isn't drilling anymore. You know what I'm saying? Let's take down the face of it. Let's render him unto nothing. Because they say rappers or like maybe like these new rappers outside of, let's say, Dirks and like your Drakes and Kendricks, J. Coles and them. They say everybody else who maybe let's say they sell or have like 100 million streams. They can't sell out a college basketball arena. I find that to be very odd, whereas though somebody will drop a song, right? Say uh, uh, X, Y, Z, one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? He come out with an album, has 20 million streams, but he can't sell out a high school football stadium in a ge geographical area that he has the most impact. What's that? Uh, wasn't that a, a, a lock song? Who's real? Who's fake? That's the type of people. Like, like, okay, where with all this scandal jumping off and all that, where's Jay-Z at? Where cuz at? I get, you know, you go underground or you just don't say nothing, let stuff blow over. Where he at? <sighs> oh, I was tripping, right? Because uh, me and my daughter went to see that Joker movie that got Lady Gaga in it. Yo, that joint was... <sighs> to say it was some huff is an is a, a extreme understatement. Yo, that joint was hard. Yo, I left the movie theater mad. Then I hop online see people want their money back. I'm like, yeah, yo, I don't, I can't even believe they put that movie out, yo. That's how, like, towards the end, I'm like, oh, the little courtroom blew up. I'm like, okay, now we finally get to some action. Then the joint end all dumb. Yo, it ended, you know, they, you know, the, the credits start rolling, they cut the lights on, that means the movie over. And everybody moved there just like, looking at each other like, that's it, yo, what? We waiting for some more, like, they just left us hanging, yo. So they got, I like the superhero joints, right? So they say the new Spawn, Last Dance, come out. You know what I'm saying? So I like some type of joints. But my mind's in them say, you know, and his, he said he's saying, he said that joint's from Huff. It's like Hollywood and gave up, yo. It's like they just putting stuff out on the street, but it's not even good product at this point. They just trying, because they know you used to, let's say, buying weed off the street. They just putting any product, no, you're going to buy it. You know what I mean? Because you're just so used to buying but the quality, oh, my goodness gracious. Man, the quality of everything has gone down, yo. Now, when they when they unveil Allen Iverson's statue in Philly, that joint was, was distasteful in a comedic sense, to say the least, yo. Yo, I guess they just uh, unveiled the Dwayne Wade statue in Miami, Florida, bro. Yo, I think, yo, it's like everybody running out of money, yo, or they just not even trying. They just, just don't doing stuff just to say they did it and not even trying to do it to a halfway decent level. Yo, that joint don't even look like Dwayne Wade, yo. 
I don't even, that joint look like, uh, 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 man, I don't even know what that joint look like. That joint like Dave Chappelle overweight, yo, with, with a number three Miami jersey on. Man, they, man, they clowning all on, <laughs> man, they clowning that joint like, like none other on social media. Who that, yo? It don't even look like the man. They got Dwayne Wade is bald headed. You know what I'm saying? Like they got somebody from DOC to make the statue to save money. <laughs> At this point, yo, based on what Jag Ryder might be saying about, you know, again, these these kings of, of certain, you know, segments of society, like Bootsy is probably the heralded measure of not snitching, sticking to the code, whoop the boot the boot. But according to Jag Ryder, right, she say, uh, he a snitch. Or not a snitch, but a government informant. Which to me would make kind of a lot of sense because after you already have federal charges and then commit a crime federally and then you get a slap on the wrist, how? Like, it's almost like in in the industry, it's like down there everybody is tied to the government. Like the dude, Wack 100. This man seemingly, who's a pyru blood, I'm assuming, how does he know everything about everything? I think Charleston White, who they say also is a government informant, it's just like they're just playing social media roles, like, scripted at this point. He said, you know, how 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 do you know all, all the, like, everybody who's gay? Who entrusted you with the gay vault or the gay vault of information? According to him, he said there's a tape about Nipsey, but maybe, maybe not. But then again, I'm thinking, how does a blood member get dirt on a crypt member unless somebody from the crypt gave it to him for some money? Yo, <clears throat> it's so, like, the tentacles of, of the surveillance grid are are just overreaching at this point. Like, again, with the Dirk situation, whereas, though, his man's in them, who he held it down at the time, and Dirk, according to street rules, they, on both sides, they carry it the way they're supposed to carry it. As soon as he get out, and Dirk bless him with some with a nice piece of bread, crib, set him up good, gave him a chain. You great cuz cause you held it down. One of the rare instances where you hold it down and you get rewarded. And the same dude you award wore a wire for two years. From what I'm understanding, this was a childhood friend. Not somebody you meet along the path and then y'all have experiences and y'all get clipped tight. Y'all was in the sandbox together, yo. The man held it down. You held him down. According to the streets, you did it correctly. And the same individual you hold down, no sooner he get out, he put on a wire for two years on his childhood friend who held him down. And I don't mean just put money on his book so he can eat in jail. I mean gave him 50 thou according to the documents. Gave him a chain, gave him a crib, a car. And this the man who lined you up for the government. I'm really starting to think now, everybody is in bed with the government at this point, yo. Such as T.I. when he had, he got caught with, a fat, you know, a, a zillion choppers and silencers and was already a felon and did a year. How? Like I said, they were just trying to break bad on me for six to eight dollars worth of child support. And I did like, you know me like <laughs> battle with these folk, you know what I'm saying? Show and prove and day after day, make sure they did whoop the whoop the whoop. You know what I'm saying? Like the, I think Doggy Domus did a video, right? I didn't get a chance to say it, but he was talk, talking about are the streets real or are they a myth? Both of them, they real as far as the consequences. They're real as far as the trauma and the pain. It's not real in the sense of what these people a attempt or uh, try to portray that they uphold. Because ain't no, in, in this day, age, and culture, especially, let's say you 30, 40, Maybe when you're younger, you might do it when you don't know no better. But when these brothers get 30, 40, 50, and then, you know, they, you know, got to amass some, some resources and a lifestyle, they not giving all that up to go back in there with, you know what I'm saying, with Loke Doug now. They not finna do it. They'll tell you do it. They'll shame you for doing it, but they ain't got no problem doing it. And then we'll just justify them making an excuse. They got all these demos out on, they say BG. You know, I don't know how true it is, but they're saying it. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy, yo. But then at the same time, certain individuals who have done it get a pass.
But then let's say in these instances where you do keep it real, like an AR ad from Philly, they gave him 45 years just because they could. Now, whatever he did didn't warrant all that. <clears throat> but from what I understand, because of his disposition in court or maybe some things they believe he got away with prior, they nailed him to the proverbial cross. Like the Tory Lane situation. You know what I mean? From what I heard, he didn't shoot the woman. But because of maybe he was trying to go independent and Meg's an industry, whoop de whoop, whatever, they made an example out of him. Yo, this is ill, yo. That's why I was saying I need to protect myself because, like, like, even with me, right, if the government or whatever agency offers somebody some small trinket, like, I believe they were trying to set me up at the job. You know what I mean? Because cause my work dog, now, we used to play, right, <clears throat> play or whatever, right? And my spotty son started tingling. But then she was playing, like, like she would rub her breast assist across my elbow. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, and then I'm, I'm mindful of the workplace and the Me Too movement. Like, whoa, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? But she kept pressing up on it, you know, getting all my personal space and, you know what I mean? Insinuating sexual innuendo. So I asked her, yeah. I'm like, yo, what's wrong, yo? What is she talking about? Like, and I know she got a girlfriend at home, right? So I'm like, yo, what's wrong, yo? Like, why is you, why is you doing that? Boy, you crazy, da, da, da. Nah, nah, what's wrong? Ain't nothing wrong. I'm grown. I ain't asked you if you was grown. I asked you what's going on at home. You know what I'm saying? Talk to your work daddy, yo. Seriously. Because where's all this coming from? My spidey son started telling her. I said, man, I'm going to stay left. So she had the homegirl that alleged, which I come to find out she didn't get smashed by the dancer, but they was acting like there was a relationship. This the same woman that supposedly went across the bridge and got a, in a high-speed chase with the client and the baby mom and all that. And they worked together in another town before they come to where, where I used to work at. So her homegirl was doing one guy. So I think they was trying to run the two-on-two -two move. <clears throat> and then in an effort to, to make it look good, if anybody bring her name up in the two-on-two -two move with her, her co-worker, and the, two, and the client and his homeboy, she going to say, nah, I ain't trying to do that because, see, I, I always be all up on, you know what I'm saying, me, myself, right? Nah, you ain't put me in no Charlotte Web trying to use me as no cloak and dagger. You know what I'm saying? So you can go get some rehab sausage and then cover it up by saying you want me. No, man, we're not doing all that. And I remember, I said, I rolled down in the medical office one time. I said, yo, it'd be the people closest to you. Ah, it's real in the battlefield. And just prior to that, and I was telling the stories, right? Just trying to give her life lessons, and, you know what I mean? As far as staying away from, like, the older hoes that want to take her out and get her back beat out by whoever. They want you all, you know what I mean, destroyed up like them, right? I can't, I can't make you do it. I can only, you know, give you the right information and show that, you know, I'm being genuine and valid. <sighs> but I told her about, you know, cutting off, you know, my man DC Mo and, and how he became a distraction and a hindrance and how, how the girl we used to work with, you know what I'm saying? And I was full transparency. I had to cut her off after I tried to get her help a couple times. She wasn't biting. I got to keep on to keep on. But then I'd be wondering, like, yo, because, and I think this is why, because the people that I'm reporting the information that I'm gathering about the fellow co-workers is actually the gatekeeper or the madam of the co-workers. So now they're coming to discover that I know all this valid information. What is he going to do with it? He, he's digging. He, well, not digging. It, the information coming to me. But he knows all our dirt. So in order to, to you know, rein him in, we got to get some dirt on him. So I think that's why they sent my work daughter at me, you know. And she was qualified to do so, but after I left, she got the position that I vacated. Well, she was worthy of, as far as, you know, knowing what to do and having the time there and all that. But I was like, damn, yo, they try to set me up, yo. And I ain't do nothing but show love to everybody, yo. You know what I'm saying? Which is, an, <clears throat> which is another thing, right? Because I used to come, like, I make more so home-cooked meals, right? Everybody else, DoorDash, you know, get the 10-pound gyro of, of beef, cheese, and meat. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. But I come with the, with the full course meal, with the, the, the sautéed uh, asparagus and whatnot. Oh, you should bring me something. So I'm trying to raise the environment, right? So what I started doing is every day I would pick one co-worker and, and bring them what I ate. You know what I'm saying? Because I had more or whatever. Just show love, raise the put a smile on people's face, whatever, 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 right? You know what I'm saying? So then because it's mostly chickens that work there, then it'd be, oh, you you brought her something. What about me? Man, man, man. I said, bitch, I, I got all y'all, baby. I got all y'all. Just wait your turn, baby. Sha boing boing. 
right? <clears throat> so I started every day. I would pick a new staff member and just bring them something just to block, raise the environment. You know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 woo. I think out of all the, now I did it for everybody, right? In my immediate department or circumference, right? I think the only person that, that turned turned around and returned the favor was, was the great big white woman, and she gave me a banana, right? I said, why? Because cause I'm a nigga, yo. I was playing. She's like, no, no, no. I said, I'm just playing with you. I'm just messing with you, yo. Well, all I got was a banana. The, and then it just like, damn, yo. Do anybody think about the individual who thinks of others? That's not real to me, yo. She want another foot. It's going to crowd, yo, damn, cuz, show some love. Man, let me bless cuz today. Just for GP, you know what I mean? Just return the favor. Not not that I'm necessarily required to, but I'm of the mindset one good turn deserves another, yo. You bless me, I bless you back. Not not to try to in no competition, but just to, you know, just return the favor. I forgot, I think it's either in our culture, ancient Hebrew or Native American culture, where it's it's customary for if someone, you know, brings you a gift, then you bring them one later on. You know what I'm saying? Just for, you know what I mean? Just, but I'm really wondering, yo, how much... I know the food ain't real. That's why I'm on this juicing tip. You know what I'm saying? I know, in essence, the, the way people portray themselves, who they actually are and who they are internally ain't real. I'm starting to wonder if the people I'm see, t on TV is even real or has the AI become so great? Because I know, uh, was it last year? Like the Writers Guild went on striking the actors because they was worried about AI taking over. So when they dropping these movies now, and let's say they say it's Clint Eastwood. Is that really him? Or is that uh, AI, Android, Dash 8, 9, Clint Eastwood? You know what I mean? Like, like you never really know, yo. Like they say all the stuff going on in the Middle East. Is it really? I've seen a Vlad joint. I think Vlad is is a, is a, a FBI informant, yo. And he was interviewing a guy from like... uh. Navy SEAL Team 6, who was supposed to be a part of the Bin Laden joint, right? So he's giving his talk, but from the information I gathered, they say the man had been dead for years and or they knew where he was at prior to him because he was on dialysis. And according to their the official store, wherever he was living at was down there right next to an army base. And with all these satellites, all this facial recognition and GPS locating and all that. All this spy and espionage. The most wanted terrorist in the world you can't find him for years. But then when you allegedly do find him, he right next to the army base the whole time. <clears throat> I don't believe it, yo. And then you notice, like, after they got him, then they came out with that movie about, I guess, the siege or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Like... And so, so I'm pretty sure he was there. He was in Navy SEAL Team 6. But now, is he on Vlad to help reiterate a narrative that's already been pushed? Because when you get into that defense contracting and all that, that get, it gets real murky. You know what I mean? They just in, Well, Vlad just interviewed the Blackwater man, who's a defense contractor, and gets billions in government contracts to go overseas and do woo 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 that's why I'd be over there setting up these American companies, like the uh, the American sniper. Uh, what's my man name? Nicholas. He's a black guy with dreads. Nicholas, I forget his last name. But he, when he went on Vlad, and he seems to be the more realist, like, yo, we was going over there and, and setting up, you know, American companies. And, you know what I mean? I was privy to, you know, going, doing convoy details of individuals who really had nothing to do with the government, but they had, you know, power and what was being set up in, in these foreign countries. And, yo, it's just, it's just, it's just, yo, this world, like, it's not what you believe it to be. And I guess they keep us, the, the regular common folk, in the nine to five matrix and the, you know, just struggling to get by matrix. You know what I mean? Keeping us so immersed in just menial tasks that we can never just get to ourselves and be like, yo, wait a minute, hold up, yo. Is any of this even real? On that note, man, I'm going to get my day started. I'm going to holler at y'all.